What's going on YouTube? Gsno right here. So in today's video we're discussing about the current status of the iOS 12.3, 12.3.1 and of course 12.4 and iOS 13 jailbreak. We're going to also answer the question should you update the iOS 13 or stay on iOS 12 point something for a jailbreak? Well as you probably know today Apple released the iOS 13 developer beta 5 and I posted this on Twitter just a few hours ago and it was actually a relatively small update if you were already on a beta 4 for example on my iPhone 7 plus it was only 700 megs so it's not a lot but it does have a lot of improvements in there you know bug fixes and so on now I'm not gonna lie to you the iOS 13 is actually quite good it does have a dark mode it does have a new volume HUD so you don't have to see that massive screen occupying HUD that they had in the past and of course there are many other features that they have including you know better animations and in the settings there are some changes and so on but should you update to iOS 13 developer beta or to the final version or should you stay on any of the iOS 12.x versions that are currently available well the obvious answer if you're interested in jailbreaking is to stay on 12.x but which one of them because there are three of them currently signed and a lot of them that are actually no longer signed but you might still be on them and you may be planning to update the iOS 13 from a jailbroken firmware. Well, at first, to get it out of the way, if you are jailbroken, do not update iOS 13. There is no point right now, at least wait for September, when the iOS 13 will be complete, so that the final version is out, you see how the battery is handled, you see how the battery lasts, you see what features are in there, and so on, before you update to a developer beta, even though it's developer beta 5, it's still a developer beta. So, if you want to stay on iOS 12.x, which one is the best? iOS 12.4 gets out of the way instantly because it's the worst version to be on. If you want to jailbreak right now, it's probably the worst idea to update at 12.4. 12.3 being the best idea for the moment and 12.3.1 being meh in the middle. But iOS 12.3 has a particular secret. The first beta and the second beta of the iOS 12.3, if you're still on them for some reason, can be jailbroken with the Sock Puppet exploit by Ned Williamson. Unfortunately, the latest betas and of course the final version are no longer compatible with that. Apple patched it, but apparently Ned Williamson submitted the bug when iOS 12.3 was already in the third or fourth beta, I cannot remember, so the previous ones were of course unpatched. So you can still use that bug in there, but unfortunately not on the final version. For the final version of 12.3, for the 12.3.1 and for 12.4, we would need a TFP0 exploit, which we have, but it's not released. You probably remember Derek's exploit that works on 12.3.1, although the bug is a little bit unreliable according to him, but unfortunately just a few days ago he confirmed it that it works on 12.4, which means that we cannot expect it to be released anytime soon, at least not until Apple patches it, which might be on either 12.4.1 if it happens at some point or of course on the iOS 13 in September. So if we rely on Derek's exploit we might not see any release for the moment at least until the bug is patched because that's how it works if you submit a bug to Apple you have to wait for them to actually patch it before it can release it publicly. Once this bug is out that's basically it. We can have a jailbreak especially since Bound to Own has confirmed that Cydia works pretty fine on iOS 13 and also on iOS 12.3.1, 12.3 and 12.4. In a post he made a few weeks ago he said quote, if anyone is wondering I can confirm that Cydia works fully fine without any changes on iOS 13, tested on a pre-jailbroken installation with Corellium HQ. Corellium being a device emulator for iOS which allows you to jailbreak the latest iOS versions online is like an iOS device simulator but much much better and it runs actual iOS. Very useful tool for jailbreak developers. So anyways we do have TFP0 waiting to be released and we do have Cydia actually working fine which means that we do not need to wait for Cydia to be updated which would have been a problem because Cydia is actually handled by Soric, which is no longer active in a community, 
So is the substrate where the uh, issue is actually bigger because Cydia is open source, but the substrate isn't, but that's a whole new story. So yeah, for the moment we do have a TFP0 exploit that waits to be released for all these versions in here. However, Derek is not the only one in the community. There might be other people, other security researchers who do have TFP0 exploits for 12.3, 12.3.1 and so on, but unfortunately if it's for iOS 12.3.1 they may not release it either because if you take a look in here on iOS 12.4 security patches, the iOS 12.4 did not patch any kernel vulnerabilities. So this has been released on July 22nd and since it doesn't contain any kernel vulnerabilities being patched in here, it means that none of the TFP0 exploits were patched that were of course shared with Apple. So none of the security researchers who have this kind of vulnerabilities and shared them with Apple would be able to release them for the moment. The only hope we have for the moment is for either a bug that works on iOS 12.3 but not for 12.3.1 because that would mean it's been patched on 12.3.1 or a zero day for 12.3.1 and 12.3 and also for 12.4 but I somehow doubt that would happen because that would mean basically releasing a bug that is not known by Apple and that can be potentially dangerous, especially if misused and also the security researcher would not get credit or monetary compensation for his bug. So yeah, for the moment stay on iOS 12.3 or 12.3.1, but do not update to 12.4. The lower, the better. If you are jailbroken, of course, do not update. And if you're planning to update to iOS 13, please do not do that for the moment. There are bugs and they're pretty nasty at times. Thank you for watching. I'm Geosnow. Till the next time, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. Peace out.